Hi, I'm here with uh, Dennis Balahalia, uh, CEO and co-founder of Dragon Edge. Uh, thanks for jumping on the call today, Dennis. Hey, thanks for having me, Tom. No worries at all. Um, do you want to just uh, introduce yourself and a little bit more about uh, Dragon Edge and um, some of the other businesses that, that sit beneath it? Sure. Um, I'm Dennis Balahadia. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Dragon Edge Group. We're a company that's been in business for the last uh, 14 years. And we are in sunscreen products and baby products uh, mainly. Yeah. Cool. So, um, obviously, COVID-19 has, has impacted everyone. Um, how has it impacted your business? Um, there's a decrease in demand for the sunscreen products as people are not going to the beaches right now. Um, the baby products are still there. Uh, moms would still need the baby products. So um, we tried serving all our customers now online for the baby products. They're looking for replenishment of their goods. But for the sunscreen product, we put that on pause. And uh, I had several discussions with my team and that's where we came up with a few crazy ideas. Uh, okay, that's, that's interesting. So, so, you've, so under the Natural um, Labs uh, company, you've got Beach Hut, which is your sunscreen. Um, yes. So when, you, when that wasn't um, selling, what, what, what have you decided to do then? So tell me about it. So um, after discussing with my team, um, we thought of donating. We were donating already baby products to the different hospitals. And we thought Beach Hut, the sunscreen should also be doing its part. However, it's going to be of no use if you donate sunscreen because no one's going to use it. And um, so we thought hard about what do we have, what can we do, and what do they need. Uh, we re realized that the hospitals and uh, a lot of Filipinos are in need right now of disinfecting sprays, um, of um, rubbing alcohol, of uh, isopropyl alcohol. And we checked the, um, our warehouse and our raw materials, we can actually create it. So we decided to create a limited edition, all for donation, new SKU um, disinfectant spray. And we, I got surprised because um, our team was able to do it in record time. So we were able to, to bring it to market in 11 days. So wow. from the day we, we said, hey, let's do this. And in 11 days, it was already in our, in our warehouse ready for distribution. That's incredible. That's an incredible story. So uh, just so I've got this uh, sort of straight in my mind. So you, you are you using the same bottles as Beach Hut sunscreen, but you're just changing the what's put in it to, to being sort of disinfectant spray, which can be used by sort of frontliners and, and in hospitals? Yes. So we used what we have. And we had to create a new label. And we contacted five of our label suppliers. Four of them are closed. And luckily one, after hearing that we're going to be donating all of it, opened up its factory, created the labels, and there we, we were able to do it in a, in a fast time. That's amazing. So, I mean, if you were, if this was a, a, normal, um, uh, a normal situation, what, what would the turnaround time be like? Our fastest was three months. So, and uh, people, my team would, we would uh, be debating all the time. They would say three months is almost impossible. It's too fast. And now we, were, we are now in a different way of thinking that we can actually do the impossible. We, we just did it in 11 days and in quarantine. So going out of um, the pandemic, we now have a different mindset. If we can do it in 11 days with the quarantine in place, how, we can even actually do it faster if it's not there, right? So it's really a mindset thing that um, you can do whatever you put your mind into it. And um, I'm really proud of the team to be able to do it in that fast time. Yeah, that's, that's really inspiring. So, so now you've got this, uh, this new antibacterial spray. Um, have you started donating it to, to, to people yet? Or is it still in the factory or is it going out soon? Yes, we had... Uh, four main groups to distribute it uh, to. First one would be employees. Second one would be um, our hospitals. Uh, the third one would be big 
organized professional uh, nonprofit organization who can bring it to those who really need it. And the fourth one would be uh, the frontliners, the checkpoints. So we were able to distribute already since Monday, maybe around 80%. Um, and then we're distributing one tomorrow for the last um, uh, foundation that we have in the list. That's great. And um, you obviously touched on the fact that your team has, has really come together, um, as have obviously that the label provider that, um, that managed to open up their, their factory to support you. Is that a trend that you're seeing across the board in, in the business community and, and in the wider community? Yes. Uh, I, I really was surprised. I, I, um, part of the effect of the pandemic and the quarantine, people get depressed, you know. The, um, and the news, when you turn it on, it's all negative. And I, we were ple I was pleasantly surprised because this really brought the whole company together. And people start to be more positive. And um, this was an activity that we've never done before. This is an activity that doesn't, in, doesn't bring in sales. Um, it's all for donation. And um, it's also maybe people are looking for something to do and people for looking for something to have meaning. And um, there are employees of Dragon Edge who never came out of their homes. And this is the only time they went out to, to donate the hand sanitizers and and they were thanking the team for giving them the opportunity to help so i think people really want to help if we just give them an opportunity to do it and if you make it easy for them and if you make them part uh, of something meaningful and um, i see it happening also for other organizations and this virus can bring us down or um, this can bring us up and bring us closer together. I think the, 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 uh, it's, it's, a, it's a question of um, not only mindset, but also taking action. The more we move, the more we take action, the more we try, um, the more we can um, beat this thing. That's, uh, yeah, that's really inspiring and uh, really powerful. And I think you're right. Um, having a, a sort of shared goal, um, a shared focus and, you know, a, a purpose uh, that brings people together. I mean, you just, you've proven that you can, you can achieve great things and, and, and help a, a great number of people. So, yeah, so good on you and, and good on your team. Um, although it sounds like they might have, uh, it might have affected their timelines uh, when you, when you go back to normal. <laughs> <laughs>